Hello guys, welcome back to this video. Um, the most common question that, well, and the most important one, what happens when you die? It's a very important question. Uh, and and you will find out right now. So, the, the links are down below. So, let me pull it up. Okay. So this is in Luke 16, verse 26. There's so many Bible translations you can read this from. I'll just pick the King James. And beside all this, between us and you, there is a great gulf fixed, so that there which would pass from hence to you cannot, neither can they pass to us that would come from thence. Okay, now, what is Sheol? No. Old Testament, the Hebrew word Sheol which I can't pronounce in Hebrew, refers to the grave of the abode of the dead. Psalms 88 verse... Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, yeah. Psalms 88 verse 3. I am overwhelmed with troubles in my life. Draws near to death. Um, let's look at the... Uh, through much of the Old Testament period, it was believed that all went in one place, whether human or animal. Psalms 49 verse 12, Psalms 49 verse 14, Psalms 49 verse 20. And we will read those now. Psalms 49 verse 12, this is the NIV. People, wait, hold up. I'm, I'm just going to try to shoot for the King James. I would read from the Hebrew Bible, but I don't think there's a Hebrew Bible here. Look, Hebrew names version. Let's try that. And nothing changed. So, people, despite the wealth, do not endure. They are like the beasts that perish. Psalms 49, verse 14, the NIV again. They are like sheep and are destined to die. Death will be the shepherd. But the upright will prevail other, uh, over them in the morning. Their forms will decay in the grave far from the princely mansions. Psalms 49 verse 20. People who have wealth but lack understanding are like the beasts that perish. I think we already read that. Uh, whether righteous or wicked. Let me see. Ecclesiastes 9 verse 2 verse 3. All share a common destiny, the righteous and the wicked, the good and the bad, the clean and the unclean, those who offer sacrifices and who do not. As it is with the good, so with the sinful. As it is with those who take oaths, so with those who are afraid to take them. This is the evil in everything that happens under the sun. The same destiny overtakes all. The hearts of people, moreover, are full of evil, and there is madness in their hearts while they live, and afterward they join the dead. Uh, no one could avoid Sheol. Okay, let's read Psalms 49. Uh, Psalms 49, verse 9, so that they should live on forever and not see decay. Then uh, 89, verse 48, who can live and not see death, who can escape the power of the grave? Which was thought to be down in the lowest parts of the earth. Deuteron Deuteronomy 32 verse, 20, uh, verse 22. For a fire will be kindled by my wrath, one that burns down to the realm of the dead below. It will devour the earth and its harvests and set afire the foundations of the mountains. Deuteronomy 32 verse 22. Uh, 1 Samuel 28 11 verse 15. Then the woman asked, Whom shall I bring up for you? Bring up Samuel, he said. When the woman saw Samuel, she cried out at the top of her voice and said to Saul, Why have you deceived me? You are Saul. The king said to her, don't be afraid. What do you see? The woman said, I see a ghostly figure coming up out of the earth. What does 
he looked like. He asked an old man wearing a robe is coming up, she said. Then Saul knew it was Samuel, and he bowed down and... I'm sorry. Uh, then, then Saul knew it was Samuel, and he bowed down and prostrated himself prostrated himself with his face to the ground. Samuel said to Saul, Why have you disturbed me by bringing me up? I am in the great distress. Saul said, The Philistines are fighting against me, and God has departed from me. He no longer answers me, either by the prophets or by dreams. So I have called on you to tell me what to do. Samuel 28, verse 11, verse 15. Let's see, and let's continue. This is in Job 26, verse 5. The dead are in the deep anguish, those beneath the waters and all that live in them. Okay, so there's a lot here. This will be linked down below. Okay, so... There's a great golf fix. So when you die, you will go to a place called Sheol. Now, the Catholics think it's purgatory. It's not purgatory. Sheol is divided up as with the great golf fix. You have Tartarus, or the, or the place of torment, which is not hell, but rather a waiting place for, for the souls that died in their sins, but they're being tormented until then. And then you have paradise. As what Christ said to the thief... Verily I say unto you, you shall be with me in paradise. That is what Christ said. So, Sheol is divided is divided up. You have paradise, and then you have the place of torment, or Tartarus. And right here is the, is the great call fix. This is what divides paradise from the place of torment. As what, if you read what, um, if you read Lazarus, in the rich man, which is not a parable, by the way, um, tells you explicitly actually what happens when you die. Um, you are judged, and then you get sent wherever. Um, it's a great golf fix. Paradise is here. Tartarus is here. Right here is the great golf fix, which is a void that divides them. Which is why when Abraham, well, which is why when the rich man told Abraham um, something, one drop of water, right? Well, Abraham said something like, well, there's a great golf fix. The side here can't cross, nor can your side. He said something along those lines. And Lazarus was with Abraham in Abraham's bosom, or paradise. Um and the rich man was in Tartarus, or the torment place of those who died without knowing Christ, which is not hell, by the way. Hell is the lake of fire, and the lake of fire is, is not open yet, okay? It's not, to my knowledge, right now, no one is in hell. The same is with in heaven. No, no one's in heaven. But there's holding places. Paradise are for, are for those who have died righteously, who died in the name of God, who died in the name of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ while believing them. And they, so people like us, will be in paradise. People who, who die denying that and the truth will be in Tartarus, or the place of torment. Now, the second coming. When the second coming happens, uh, those in paradise, as essentially, well, I'm sorry, uh, trying to remember what I heard. I'll link the video down below. So, the people with parents, see, there's judgment, right? When the second coming happens, um, if I remember this correctly, when the Antichrist is defeated, all the souls are called, uh, are called up from, from the earth, okay, which um, essentially means those who perish on the earth, which is like everyone, no, and, they're, they're, and they'll be called up, and then they'll be judged. Now, the people who died in paradise, will, will they are awaiting their reward, 
the crowns, like the crown of righteousness and the crown of life. And there's many more, but those are the only two that I have memorized. And those crowns symbolize what you have done for the Lord. Okay, All will have the crown of righteousness, which are those who believe. But uh, the crown of life, I believe, are for those who died for Christ, I believe. And there's other crowns as well. So those are the, the, the people of Christ are rewarded. And the people who die not knowing Christ uh, will be judged, which is the great white throne of judgment. And they will be judged. Then if their name is not found in the Lamb's book of life, they will be casted in, into the lake of fire, which then will be opened likewise with heaven. When the second coming happens, heaven will be open. Why? Because heaven will be completed. See where I'm going with this? So the link down below, uh, we'll, we'll talk about it more dis more intricately. I don't, I don't want to say any more because I don't want to deceive you or, or I'm sorry, accidentally deceive you or accidentally uh, misinform you. So the link will be down below. So that is what happens when you die. Now, as to what you see and, and such, that can be debated. I, I don't know. I think when you die, you uh, you uh, you leave your body, and then you are dragged up more and more and more and more. Because if you look at near the death experiences, that is generally what happens. The longer the experience, the, the more funkier it gets as terms of the experience. Like you, it's as if something is drawing you higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. So, um, that is what happens when you die. The, the video is more intricate and it will be placed down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like it, share it, sub subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I can't wait to see you on the next one. Shalom. Oh, and you have uh, one Father and one and one Lord. Remember that. Don't bow down to anyone. The Black Lives Matter crap, don't, don't bow down to them. Your knees shall only hit the ground, whether it's here on earth or in heaven. Um, your knees shall only bow to the Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ and God the Father. So don't bow down to anyone. You have one Father and He's in heaven and you have only one teacher and He is the Christ. And the Christ is the only way to eternal life. Don't forget that. I love John 14, 6. I love you guys. See you on, on the next one. Shalom.